Mike, do you think that magic could steer this ship to return the Lakers to their previous glory? Absolutely. I think Magic Johnson certainly has his work cut out from Keisha. There's no question about that. However, what Magic Johnson probably should do here is look at some of the former head coaches and NBA players that have succeeded as general managers and, 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 and done well and gotten success in the front office, like Pat Riley, his former coach. Right? Look at Danny Ainge, what he's done with Boston. These are guys that are former players and coaches that have done very well in the front office. But I think you also look at, look at some of the negativity. Look at some of the former players that haven't succeeded. For example, Isaiah Thomas. Look at the former coaches who haven't succeeded. For example, Phil Jackson. And I think what Magic can do here is look at some of the mistakes that these guys have made through the years. And to finish, the recipe for success in Los Angeles, and this is going back 30 years, with the first dynasty that they created post the Walt Chamberlain era was with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson himself. They did that through free agency by getting Kareem to come to L.A. and by drafting Magic. Then what do they do? 10, 15 years later, they build through free agency by getting Shaquille O'Neal, and they made that great trade for Vladi Divas by bringing Kobe Bryant to, to L.A. So I think that Magic Johnson's biggest goal here is to make Los Angeles attractive for free agents to want to come there. And I don't think that's going to be too difficult. We know he has the charm as well. Yeah, I am ecstatic. I, from a, As a young little pup, I loved Magic Johnson. I'm so excited that he has actually come back to the Lakers. This is something that he really wanted and campaigned for a long time. But Jeannie Buss really was hesitant to fire her brother, Jim. And so I think that Magic, well, I know he's going to bring the enthusiasm and he has the passion to make the Lakers great again. He's got, you know, limited resources in the sense that he doesn't have a big star yet. He has a lot of young talent. And in his first moves as the president of basketball operations, he did make a trade to acquire uh, a, a draft pick. So, you know, he's kind of on the right right path and it's going to take some time and he's really made sure that Lakers nation knows that this is not going to be an overnight fix and that look it took three to four years to create this mess it's going to take at least that or hopefully less time for him to even begin to write the ship to make LA a more attractive destination because we found that it's no longer necessary for people to play in these large markets like LA, New York, that you can be successful, build your brand in cities like San Antonio and OKC, Oklahoma City. So I think I'm, he's got the right attitude. He hired um, the general manager who was a former agent uh, for Kobe Bryant and many others in Rob Palinka. That was a move that, you know, maybe raised a little eyebrows because you have a novice as the president of basketball operations who hired another novice in, as a general manager. But it worked for the Golden State Warriors. Their general manager is a former agent. So I'm really excited. And we could see Bird and Magic doing battle against each other. They're both, you know, of different organizations. And actually in Indiana, too. Right. This is really crazy. So we'll see it. I'm really excited. And I hope that, you know, Lakers Nation stands up and is proud again.